here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of numerical analysis so welcome to this video where we are going to start numerical integration and in this topic we are going to solve eight questions eight eight very important questions so we are starting with this first question and in this first question we will be talking about we will be discussing and solving about this problem in detail okay in detail we are going to learn where to use this rule this rule or this rule or this widdle's rule so let us start with this problem the question says evaluate integral integration 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square this is the integration part by using first rule is trapezoidal rule second rule is simpson's 1 by 3rd rule third rule is simpson's 3 by 8th rule and the fourth rule that is widdle's rule and then we need to compare the results with its actual value okay so this is the this is what this is my f of x so here we can say the f of x given in the problem that is 1 upon 1 plus x square again here we can find width width means the limit is from 0 to 6 so width that is the formula for this is b minus a upon n what is b that is upper limit what is a that is lower limit and what is n number of parts what is b that is 6 minus what is a that is 0 what is n let us see this n what is n in detail suppose you want to divide this interval that is 0 to 6 into 6 parts that is i am writing here divide divide the interval that is 0 to 6 into 6 parts this 6 is nothing but your n okay so here we can write that is 6 This is six upon six. That is one. So here we have width, and this is what we write width as h. So we can say the value of h is how much one. And what is f of x? That is one upon one plus x square. Okay. Now here we need to form a table. Here we are writing x, and below this we are writing f of x. This is nothing but your y. Okay. Then we will write the value of x that is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and here we are going to put the value of x, and then whatever the value you will get, we will write that in f of x. So let me first draw this table. Now here we will write zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now put the value of x here. You will get f of x equals to one. Similarly, if you put x equals to one here, you will get f of x equals to one by two. That is zero point five. Similarly, if you put this value will be zero point two here. The value will come as zero point one here. The value will come as zero point zero five double eight. Here it is going to be zero point zero three eight. Five, and here you are going to get zero point zero two seven. Okay, since f of x is y, so this is going to be the value of y naught. This is the value of y one. This is the value of y two. Similarly, y three, y four, y five, y six. I hope up to this everything is clear. Now. Here one thing we can say that is the number of elements. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number of elements are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But the value of this n is how much? Six. So whenever you need to find the value of n, sim sim simply do one thing: count the number of elements and subtract it with one. That is seven minus one. That is six. Always use this technique. now we will follow these rules 
to solve that is trapezoidal rule simpson's one third rule simpson three by eight rule and Weddell's rule one must know where to use this method on and most importantly when you need to know that we cannot use such methods that is if you see the capital and value of trapezoidal rule is one okay similarly the capital and value of simpson's one third rule is how much two for simpson's three by eight rule is n equals to three and for Biddle's rule it is how much four this is for this this is for this it is for this and this again for this now the most important part of this problem is here the value of n is 6 so if you divide this 6 upon 1 that is 6 which is a natural number that means if 6 upon this 1 is a natural number then we can say that we can use this rule that is trapezoidal rule similarly if you divide this 6 with this 2 that is 6 upon 2 how much that is 3 again we can say which is a natural number so in this problem we can use this rule also i mean we can solve this we can evaluate this by using this rule again the value of capital n in the case of simpson 3 by 8 rule is 3 6 upon 3 that is 2 which is again a natural number so we can say for this integration we can use this rule again for this Weddell's rule the value of n is 6 sorry the value of n is how much 6 this is not 4 this will be 6 so 6 upon 6 the value will be 1 again 1 is a natural number so we can say that to find this or the, to evaluate this we can use this rule suppose the value of n is how much 4 okay the value of n is how much 4 in that case 4 upon 1 that is 4 which is a natural number so we can use this Again, Simpson's one third rule that is 2, 4 upon 2, that is 2. Again, that is natural number. So we can use this. We cannot divide this. Okay, 4 upon 3, which is natural. 4 upon 3 is not a natural number. Similarly, 4 upon 6 is again not a natural number. So we cannot use when n equals to 4, we cannot use Simpson's 3 by 8 rule or Weddell's rule. In that case, we can use this or Simpson's one third rule. In that case, if in the problem it is asked to use this rule then we will use this rule if it is used if it is asked to use simpson's one third rule then we will go for this rule if in the problem nothing is asked okay solved by this rule then in that case we are going to use simpson's one third rule because by approaching this rule if we solve or evaluate by using this rule the value that we will get after use, after solving by this rule is more approximate i mean that is close to that value that that actual value okay that will be close to that actual value so let's suppose uh, here okay let's suppose nothing is asked that is solved by uh, i mean suppose in this problem evaluate this evaluate integration 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square and nothing is asked in that case also we will use this formula okay this formula because again i am saying by using this rule the value that we will get by using this rule is more uh, close to that actual value that we will get by integration of this value okay so let us start first we will use trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule integration 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square this is you need to remember the formula that is h upon 2 extreme extreme values that is y naught plus y6 y naught plus y6 plus twice into remaining y values that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 okay simply put h equals to 
one here y values from this you will get from trapezoidal rule the value of this integration that is 1.4108 okay this is the value by trapezoidal rule similarly from simpson's 1 by 3 rule 0 to 6 here you can see 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square this is equals to you need to remember the formula that is h upon 3 bracket open again extreme limits that is y naught plus y6 okay plus 4 into odd values of suffix of y that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus twice into odd is written here so here we are going to write even parts okay y2 y4 y6 but we have already used this y6 here so we are going to write y2 plus y4 bracket is closed now h equals to 1 and put all the values of y here you will get this integration value as 1.3662 okay now coming to simpson's 3 by 8 rule simpson's 3 by 8 rule integration 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square which is equals to you need to remember the formula that is 3 h upon 8 bracket open y naught plus y6 plus 3 into okay we need to write here those values of y whose suffix is not the multiple of 3 that is y3 y6 we will exclude these values okay so here we are going to write y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 plus twice into we need to write those values of y whose subscript is multiple of 3 that is y3 plus y6 but we have already used y6 here so we will close this okay now put the values here and you will get the value of this integration by simpson's 3 by 8 rule that is 1.3 5, 7, 1. Okay. Now coming to fourth part that is by Weddell's rule. Inter integration 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square. This equals to, yes, the formula is 3h upon 10 bracket open y naught plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6. Put the value of h equals to 1 and values of y here you are going to get the value as 1.3731. This is the value attained by Weddell's rule. Now, in the problem, it is again asked to find its actual value. So, let us find its actual value. Again, we know that is integration 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square. The integration of this is tan inverse of x. Limit goes from 0 to 6. Again, this is tan inverse of 6 minus tan inverse of 0. We know the tan inverse 0 value is 0. And the tan inverse 6 value is 1.4056. And this is the answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.